you're only feeding your inner psychopath. This is basically what I told my son as I tried out the multiplayer feature of Ghost Recon Breakpoint for the first time. The game has been out for years already. I got it on sale for only 14 euros. Played it for an hour or so here and there before I went camping for Memorial Day weekend. I allowed my eldest son to try his hand at it, the son that I recorded building his first electronic board at four. He was killing everything in sight and having fun doing it. He was like, look daddy, I got him, I got him. He wanted my approval. He wanted me to be proud of him as he killed all the bad guys. I said, yes, indeed, you did. You did a good job. But you know what would be an even better job? He asked what? I said, complete the mission without killing a single soldier. Why not kill them, he said. They're the bad guys. I then took control of the character, grabbed some C4 explosives, threw them in a random direction, and exploded them. I then got down in the dirt and covered my character in camouflage. The radar went red. The enemy base naturally sprung into alert, calling reinforcements. Security got tighter. I said, watch. He seemed impatient. Just watch and listen, I said. I forget exactly what the NPC enemy said as he searched right past my character without realizing I was there, but it was something along the lines of, stay alert, bad guys are close. And then I turned to my son. You hear that? What? He said, bad guys are close. Yeah. So I repeated myself. I, he didn't seem to get it. He said, bad guys are close. So? Right, his facial expression. And then I, I, I responded, to him, we are the bad guys. And then I saw the light bulb just... Click on my son's eyes. We are the bad guys? Yes and no. Not really, I told him. I have to play more through the story, but in any war, there are different ways to think about who the good and bad guys are. I tried to keep my vocabulary as simple as I could for him, considering his age. Now think, I continued. If this is real, don't you think these guys would have wives and children? Yes he said. And perhaps, what if we weren't fighting? What if you got to the know, what if you got to know the guy outside of the story and found out that he's actually a nice guy? What if he's pretty cool once you get to know him? Then why is he killing people? My son asked. Well, why are you? I countered. He didn't have an answer. This land doesn't belong to either one of us, according to the story. So here's the thought. What if we're both actually the bad guys? He didn't say anything at first. My son, my son didn't say anything at first, but, but then he said, two different bad guys? It's possible, I told him. It happens in war every single day. He furrowed his eyebrows. Try this. I turned on the laptop. I, I turned the laptop back over to him. You want daddy to be really proud of you? And he, he, he literally got excited. Yes, yes, I do. Right? Complete the next mission then, but without killing a single soldier. Don't hurt anyone. Not a single hair on any of their heads. Right? And I told him, if you want to impress me, you want to impress daddy, blow up the drone, take the data, Beat the mission while sending all of the enemies back home in one piece to their wives and children. He looked befuddled. How do I do that? You can't be spotted by anyone. Don't fire a single bullet at anyone. When you set the C4 charges this time, hide in the mud and just wait. Wait for everything to calm down. It takes time. It takes patience. And then hack the computer. So we had a father, a father and son moment. The game rewards you every time you hurt someone. The game gives you full permission to hurt them. It almost programs you to kill, kill, kill. It's tempting to kill them. It's easy to kill them. It's fun to kill them. 
So what is actually harder here is to become self-aware and master yourself and those urges, no matter how rewarding it would be to fulfill them. All right, if you really want to impress daddy, I kept telling him, learn how to win while holding back. Be like me, not your granddad. Right? And, and for people new to this video, I referenced my, my father, his, my son's grandfather. He was a kingpin drug dealer who hurt a lot of people, to put it very succinctly. Part of my mission to break my own generational cycle of dysfunction would be to not be that kind of a character, the Kantian in my ethics, and to raise children that are not murderous, manipulative drug dealers. My son tried, he failed, naturally. I, I, I expected him to, because that's, that's really difficult. It's way more difficult than games like Ghost Recon give it credit for. Right? He thought it couldn't be done, though. But then, when it was my turn, I showed him why I leave this house. And I told him not to worry so much about my score, that it may give me fewer EXP points on the surface, but that doesn't actually mean that Daddy was the lesser warrior. 